happy 413 guys so what 413 is is the anniversary of homestuck so every year on the 13th of april it's a bit of a homestuck holiday if you will and it's the anniversary of the start and the end of homestuck um it started in 2009 and if you're not sure what homestuck is it's a webcomic and one of the biggest publications of a human ever written something like that i'm not even going to try to explain the plot because no one can explain the plot of homestuck i don't even think andrew hussey would be able to fully explain the plot of homestuck in a uh, short time but <laughs> so for those I i'm guessing those who are watching this are probably more into homestuck um, and then the rest of my subscribers and if you if you haven't got into it then go check it out see if it's for you i suggest giving it a bit of a a run up you know you gotta really push to have uh to, to get on with homestuck it can be a bit of a uh, bumpy ride the first few acts but once you're in you're in and yeah so it's um the anniversary of homestuck ending and also beginning it ended last year officially like the comic itself the, like the, the 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 main comic ended but it's still being continued in other formats there's a game coming out um hive swap and it's gonna be really good and yeah so um so i'm drawing the character jade as i did last year for 413 if you want to go and check that out it'll be on the end card and the um yeah the the character I chose is Jade and she is in her god tier outfit, otherwise known as her dog tier because she's I'm not explaining the dog is. <laughs> Go read it please. It's so it's so difficult to explain anything to do with homestuck without sounding like you've lost your mind, really. Um but yeah, so she's my favourite character and I cosplay Jade a lot and if you were in my stream the other day, you got to see me cosplaying as Jade, even though I had to take my wig off towards the end because it was really hurting my head. Um, well, my glasses mainly, but I've lost both my proper wig and glasses and ears for Jade. I don't know where I've put them. I've put them somewhere safe and now I've lost them. <laughs> so I always like to draw something special for 413 and I drew Jade again because I wanted to see how much I'd improved from last year and I am quite happy with my improvement I must say my line weight has definitely improved a lot I feel a lot more confident with my artwork and watercolors especially so this is a watercolor and ink piece I'm using a lot of well it's a mix it's ink gouache and watercolor and mostly if, if you see me pulling anything out of a palette, like the one in the corner there, that's gouache or ink. I was using Diamine's drawing inks. So Diamine have brought out waterproof drawing and calligraphy ink. And that's the black and the purple that you see used a lot. Um, and then the green, I use Linden Green and um, Permanent Green Middle in Windsor & Newton's Designer's Gouache. And I use a lot of masking fluid. This piece took me so long. That's why she's a day late because yes, it's the 14th of April now, but I, um, she was taking a long time to dry because she's actually a really big painting. She's 12 by 16 inch. And I had to use masking fluid to um, apply the sort of the galaxy effect. I, I don't like to be restricted when I'm doing a galaxy effect. So I prefer to mask areas off. So I first started off by masking her hair so I could apply the green background and then I applied masking fluid to her face and clothing where the hair was touching and you'll see me apply the ink for the hair in a second. So the thing with Jade is she's very um, aligned with like space themes, um, her, her title is the Witch of Space and she's, she's just all around amazing so I, I like her and she's about space and I like space and yeah <laughs> so she was a very easy favorite for me um, and she's a real sweetheart as well she, she doesn't take any grief from anyone she's just a really great character and I really like her um, so I yes here we go I'm applying ink to the hair 
and also I hope you appreciated me slowing down that masking fluid peel I know you guys like it <laughs> um, so I'm wetting the area for the hair and that will allow the ink to sort of disperse once I place it on and you'll see that any second now I'm just, uh, there's little bits of masking fluid that were all around as well, so I waited for them to dry and then peeled them off because they were in the wrong place. But there we go. There goes the ink. I love working with ink because it's so much, it, it's a lot more versatile in quantity, I want to say. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but you get larger quantities of ink down quicker than you would with watercolour. Um, and you get stronger colours very quickly with ink but it's also un more unforgiving than watercolour because if you place it down it stains pretty quickly but it's it's a really nice complement to using watercolour if you are doing like large areas and then going in and detailing like I did here so to get more of a galaxy effect I mean I do this on a lot of my paintings anyway but I lift a lot of the colour and this gives it a cloudy finish, like a cloudy pattern. You don't have to do it all over, but um, if you can see that some areas are lifted off and it's a very soft edge to it. And that's just standard kitchen roll. I buy the cheapest kitchen roll that the supermarket has. It's like a pound for four rolls, that kind of thing. And it really helps lift off the, um, the majority of the colour and then you keep applying. It might seem like a waste but to build up galaxies you need to apply lots of layers anyway. This also helps it dry quicker so you can get in and uh, paint more and paint quicker. And so now that that's dried so I've got sort of like a lot of cloudy um, base to it I can apply more ink and this is where I bring in more gouache and watercolour and I start applying blues and purples into the into the hair. I love drawing galaxies. Has anyone noticed this yet? Has anyone? <laughs> like there's two things you can kind of guarantee for my artwork. One, there's gonna be something to do with space, and two, there's gonna be fine text. <laughs> so I didn't manage to do many videos last week i am truly sorry for that but um i've been super busy with doing my um online store stuff i've had my friend ash i did a youtube live stream and that was really great um and you guys could see that i was working on it and it's getting there we're still not done <laughs> we're, we're still not done it's like please take me away from all of this <laughs> So I don't know what layer this is on, but as you can see, you just keep layering and layering and I'm doing it in circular cloud formed patterns, if that makes sense. With a galaxy, hard edges will look a bit artificial. You want sort of that cosmos dust effect, like that big sort of cloud, super soft cloud of colour. Um, and don't be afraid to put colours in your galaxies adding yellows and greens really adds to a galaxy effect but I, I still plan to do a tutorial on galaxies um but i'm i'm wondering which way i should approach it and i'm thinking of approaching it from um, a very minimalist watercolor um technique because i've got a lot of professional colors and I don't want anyone to feel alienated because they can't afford like an eight pound half pan. Um, I mean, like the, the some of the stuff that I use isn't cheap. I mean, I make it back because I sell my artwork, but that's a different topic, I suppose. <laughs> Here we go, more masking fluid peeling. I know you guys like it. I like watching it. I like doing it. You know, everyone's guilty pleasure is the masking fluid. <laughs> just leaves such a nice clean edge. If you're wondering what masking fluid is, it's a very gross smelling latex, liquid latex uh, product that you apply to watercolour paper to stop the spread of colour and water. It's very, very, very good. And I use the Colourless by Wayne for Newton. Here's the bottle. It's almost gone actually. I've got about a quarter left. Colourless art masking fluid. So it's pretty cool. I did the top of her shirt with uh, ink, um, the dye mine ink again, um, 
mostly because getting this much black coverage out of a watercolour will leave a severe dent in it. Um, <laughs> like I said, this painting's pretty big um, and I'm really proud of her, actually. Like at this point in time, I'm proud of her. I was proud of my last jade, but like looking back at that, like, whoa, like the change. I'm so happy with myself for that. Um, yes, yeah, so the skirt, the, oh, I, I do apologize for this portion of footage. It's very blown out and I couldn't get the white balance to stop messing around at all. And at this point it was getting very blown out. And yeah, I was kind of like, why is this doing this? I tried to correct it so many times, but it just wouldn't work. So I just thought I've got some footage of it and it's left to, I mean, I've cut out a large portion of the painting that I recorded because you just couldn't see so many of the details, so I think it's the face. Mostly, you just couldn't see the colour that I was applying. And yeah, so um, I left her skin white, like the comic, like white white. Um, and that's what I do with all my Homestuck characters, actually, when I, it's like either troll grey or actual white. <laughs> Because everyone has different headcanons about like the, the human colours and the colours of skin and it's really nice. One thing that's really diverse about Homestuck is, is that you can apply a lot of your own headcanon and um, so that the fan artists and the fan fiction writers, they're really creative and some people are just have, have really shone through being able to create such amazing fan works from Homestuck and I, I'm always like really proud to hear of like a professional artist who started off drawing like Dave Cat on Tumblr. <laughs> like, it's perfect. And of course, I'm using my fine text. Again, it was very difficult to get a lot of the um, initial footage working for this, so I do apologise and I will have to fix my camera settings, I think. But I'm using fine text to just dust on some. Um, star formations i didn't want it to be super realistic but i used a mixture of the gold and the silver from the fine tech pearl palette and one thing um i didn't film was doing the glasses and i also put on a huge layer of glitter using the spectrum noir sparkle pen and you'll see that in the in the preview at the end um uh, unfortunately before anyone asks i can't sell prints of this um, and I can't sell the original. Um, if you'd like to commission me to do a homesick piece, I am able to do that, but the prints and selling original artwork is not allowed by the creator. So, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I think I'll frame her and maybe take her to conventions just to sort of display. But we'll see. But yeah, so there's the glasses and there's the spot. Well, you'll see it in its full glory any second now but anyway guys yep thank you so much for watching happy fall 13 to all your homestuck nerds and i will see you in tomorrow's video goodbye